to the ball catcher series. This is Victoria from Luos and in this video we'll create the sensors and the solenoids drivers, then we'll get them to hit a falling ball using Python. For this step I'm using Arduino and STM32 microcontrollers. Please note that Luos Engine is compatible with the range of different microcontrollers and constructors and you can check out the list in Luos documentation. For my sensor I'm using the Omron EE S6461. This is a photo microsensor. It contains a laser light that passes from one side to the other and every time an object passes through and blocks the light the output pin is enabled. You can see that the sensor has three pins on its right side. From the top to the bottom the pins need to be connected to the ground, the output pin and the voltage input. For the photo microsensor driver I'm using an Arduino MKR0. As you can see I am connecting the first pin of my sensor to the ground pin of the Arduino, the second pin with the pin number 8 that I have chosen for my output and the third pin with the 5V pin of the Arduino. So, in order to drive my sensor, I created a Lua service that gets the value of the output pin at any given time. If another service requires the value captured by the sensor, the sensor driver will respond with a Lua message containing the data value of 1 if an object is passing through the sensor, that is if the laser light is blocked, or 0 if it is clear. Next, we'll proceed with the solenoids driver. I'm using a 12 volt 5 ampere electromagnet that is activated each time enough current runs through it, otherwise it remains deactivated. For the solenoids driver, I'm using a Lewis Custom STM32L0 based microcontroller that is made only for prototyping and testing purposes, but you can use a different microcontroller that you may prefer for your driver. To drive the solenoid, we created a power switch shield. The input pin of the power switch will be set to 1 the moment that we want to activate the solenoid and to 0 when we want it to be deactivated. Attention! Make sure that you use a relay in your shield for 12V devices, otherwise you will burn out your microcontroller. Just as with the sensors driver, I created a Luos service that gets Luos messages from a Luos network and deactivates or activates the solenoid. In the final part of this video, we are going to use PyLuos and a Luos specific tool called Gate to communicate with the computer and control the sensor and the solenoid using Python. If you are not yet familiar with PyLuos and Gate, you can check out our Get Started tutorial. We quickly created a 3D printed mechanical setup to integrate the pole catcher project. Here you can see the sensor and the solenoid. So I have opened the terminal and I will run the command by Luos shell. Now I can see all the components of my system, the services gate and pipe that are needed for the transaction of messages between the computer and the embedded network and the services running my solenoid and sensor. Each node represents a different microcontroller. As my gate is programmed to get the value of any sensor in the system every millisecond, I have created a small script to get the value of the sensor and activate the solenoid every time the ball passes through the sensor. So I will run my script and now I will try to hit the ball. So I'm throwing the ball and oops, it doesn't work properly. Why? Okay, it's obvious. Until now we haven't included any timing constraints and we haven't exploited the real-time mechanisms of Luos Engine yet. As you might imagine, we need to put in a delay between the moment that the ball passes through the sensor and the moment that it will be in the perfect position to be hit by the solenoid. We will do this in the next video in the Ball Catcher series. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notifications bell so you can be among the first to discover our new videos. You can also join our Discord community by following the link in the description box. Now everything is set up to develop a hard real-time embedded application. Let's do it!